original multimedia series talking all things North Jersey sports. And this is a special edition. I am Corey Doviak, being joined by Saddle River Day Athletic Director and Girls Basketball Coach Danny Brown. And Danny, before uh, we get into what we're going to talk about today, Happy New Year, and thanks for joining us here on the Ball Game. Thank you very much, Corey, and thanks for the opportunity to get the information out. And Happy New Year, and best of health to all you guys. Well, right back at you. And the reason, we'll talk a little Saddle River Day girls basketball shortly, but before we get to that, we got to talk about the, I don't know even what you'd call it, charity game, benefit game, anyway. It's the threes for Sandy Hook. It's the third annual edition of this, and it's the Saddle River Day school community reaching out to the entire community of Newtown, Connecticut. It's the third year that you guys you guys have been doing this. Why don't you just give us a little rundown how this thing all got started and really, you know, what it's grown to now. Well, it started uh, simply with a reach out between myself and the girls basketball coach of Newtown, uh, Jeremy O'Connell. Uh, I just was reading, you know, what they were doing after the tragedy as a team and uh, just reached out to them and wanted to join their effort, which was a $1 donation for every three-pointer, uh, you know, that their team was making to, you know, help out some of the families that were in need. And so uh, it snowballed and it has turned into a charity game event between Newtown High School and Saddle River Day, and it's uh, blossomed into four other things. Uh, Newtown has a Threes for Sandy Hook tournament every year now, and that next year will be uh, hopefully at one of the casinos up in that area. Uh, That'd be great. Um, I actually spoke to Coach Sterling and to um, Jeff from uh, Immaculate, and they're both also interested in joining me. So we, we might be taking three Jersey teams up to be in that tournament next year because we flip it every year, Bergen County, and then back up in Newtown. Sure, invite Sea Caucus next year when they lose this great senior class. Exactly. <laughs> Goodbye, Julia McClure. No game for you in Connecticut. <laughs> so uh, we also have, I started last year, a uh, threes for Sandy Hook Middle School Madness, uh, March yeah. Madness in March that was very successful last year to the point where this year and uh, this coming Saturday, Four teams are coming down from Newtown, Connecticut, girls 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and they are playing exhibition games before the high school game uh, at Saddle River Day this Saturday against uh, Kimelon 5th grade, against Mawa 6th grade, Allendale 7th grade girls, and Saddle River 8th grade girls. So it's really going to be an amazing event against this, again this year, and, and it just seems to be growing and uh, gaining momentum each year that, that we continue the relationship and the friendship. Yes, and I was going to mention those middle school games because now when you start bringing that age group in, it really is all – it's it, that's the community because you got from fifth grade to twelfth grade. I mean, that's – you know, that, that brings in more than just one varsity basketball game. It really brings a lot of kids together who can, you know, uh, exchange ideas, exchange – you know, uh, sometimes at that age – a kid from New Jersey doesn't even know uh, what a kid from Connecticut, you know, all, all those type of things. So it really is uh, opening up the eyes of, I think, a lot of the participants too. And then, you know, when you share the story of what happened there, it really brings it home a little bit more for everybody. And it's a complete weekend. The basketball game is just really the the middle of an entire weekend for all these families to be together. There's a whole itinerary of things that start Friday morning, all the families from Newtown come down, and uh, we're all staying in one hotel together. And it's quite amazing. It's turned into a, a, a great event. You know, when we go back three years now to the tragedy itself, and, you know, you guys jumped in there, and the emotions were still so raw. And in a lot of ways, they still are. But, you know, now we're three years on from this. And, listen, that, that community will never be healed. But there is a healing process that goes on. You know, have you noticed a difference? Can you feel, is it different the way they're rallying around now? Maybe not so much in grief, even though that will never go away, but kind of, you know, as a celebration of the healing process? I don't I don't uh, have enough, I guess, interaction to see something like that. Right. But they certainly, as a community, have grabbed on to this uh, event and this reach out from us. 
and um, we, you know, I'm I'm up there three or four times a year. Coach O'Connell is coming down here to support our our school and our programs. Comes to graduation, it's a, it's turned into an amazing friendship and uh, obviously a lifelong bond from Jeremy and I. But also these girls, these girls communicate, you know, all year. Yep. And there's going to be other events in the city for them to get together this year, and it's um. It's definitely a process, and I have seen it just grow, I guess, is the best way to uh, describe it. I don't know if there's any way other than to just watch and learn from the kids and watch how they share themselves and uh, just offer themselves to each other as friends and whatever they need from each other. Isn't it great when sports are used properly? Because this is what it's supposed to be all about. You know yep. what I mean? It, it's yeah. community. It's all that stuff. It is. I, I, this is the most amazing event and um, mm-hmm. friendship and relationship that I've ever been able to establish through through participation in sports by far. All right. So you're two and zero against Newtown, though. Turning to the hardwood action itself this year. You know, uh, you gonna let them win one of these years, Danny? You know what? <laughs> they uh, they are doing very well. They beat the number three and number four team in the state of Connecticut already this year. Wow. And last year up in Newtown, it was back and forth. So um, it, this is going to be a war. You know, it's a great weekend. There's a lot of uh, friendship and a lot of feelings exchanged. But they compete. You know, these kids go out there, and it's about about basketball for four quarters. Yeah, and that, that that's the way it should be, too. I mean, competition yep. is, a, is a great stress reliever, too. So let's talk a little bit about the Saddle River Day girls basketball team. I don't want to say it's the post-Izzy uh, McMahon error beginning now, but kind of, you know, you two coming together and coming to Saddle River Day kind of marked the emergence of the program. She's gone now. I know her sister is still there, and you guys are 3-2, and two, which is deceiving because your two losses against Hudson County champion Lincoln and Trenton Central. But, uh, you know, through five games of the season, heading into that Newtown game, just talk about the Rebels a little bit. You know, it, it's uh, it's a great transition and a great challenge as a coach and as a program when you lose a kid like Izzy who really was the poster child for our program. We have um, uh, a complete new offense, a complete new look, a couple of big girls in there. Our first looks are much different now than having Izzy – you know, drive and create and, and run a real run-and-shoot offense. Right. we got some big players, and they're talented, and we're looking, you know, our big girls are scoring uh, well over half of our points now, and it's much more spread out. You know, four kids in four games, all in double figures, all even uh, scoring a lot of touches, and we're much deeper this year. You know, we you know, we have some, some real players that are stepping up here, so – the games that we have lost, uh, as you said, are against quality teams. We are not uh, in a league at this point. I did pull us out of the Patriot League for right. a more competitive look, and obviously that's what we need to adjust and be prepared for. Yeah, I mean, you've asked for it and you got it. I mean, uh, Immaculate Conception has done the same thing too, and when you have a good team, it, it kind of take the shackles off a little bit and go out and uh, play some good competition, which is only going to help you later on in the season. And as I'm looking here, as we're talking, I got our rankings in front of us, and I look uh, at our Bergen County rankings. Obviously, IHA played Eastside to overtime uh, the other day, which was a great game for them, even though they didn't come out to win. Immaculate Conception, we have as our second rank Bergen County team. You look after that, and you guys are right in the mix, uh, maybe flying a little bit under the radar because of the graduation of Izzy and because you're not playing the schedule where people are going to see you against in county competition all the time you know i i think iha if you make them the clear cut one i think through two through eight nine ten you know with old japan beating northern highlands round playing well early westwood with a division one player the bergen county girls basketball tournament's going to be a lot of fun this year yeah i think so too i think uh i think there are going to be some surprises and i'm hoping that we're one of them i i love you know not being up there in the top six seven i i think it's great i think a lot of people didn't see the underclassmen as much as they uh, thought last year, and it's yep. going to definitely catch some some surprises. Where are the biggest uh, areas of improvement? I mean, when you get in the gym for practice, what do you what do you say we got to get better at? What do we need to get better at? Yes. Um, I would say, I mean, our defense seems to be really clicking right now. I think we need to 
find a little bit better replacement uh, from the wing that's going to be driving and kicking like Izzy was doing from the point and wing. Right. So we've got to get either her sister Danny or maybe Kelly driving a little bit more and not settling for the jump shot. Once we create that other weapon, um, you know, I think we'll be pretty tough to, to compete against. Absolutely. Well, Danny, listen, this was fun. We, this is just a preliminary uh, as far as our coverage of the threes for Sandy Hook uh, benefit game. Rich Barton, our man, Richie Ballgame Barton, will be on the scene to cover the event, to talk to a bunch of the people around there and really kind of give us a feel for the event itself. But I, 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 we've, we've talked about it now three years in a row. I think this is a great thing you're doing, not that it takes much intelligence to figure that out, but just the way you've embraced it and, you know, not just said, hey, here, here's our uh, check, you know, good luck. You've taken it by the horns, and you've become a, a real part of the tradition here. You're building a tradition between your the, the new North Jersey sports community and the Newtown community, and I think that's only been beneficial to everybody involved. And I'm interested to see how far it goes from here. I mean, you know, if you're going to play in a casino next year, uh, although I may not send Richie Barton up to the casino next year, Danny. I hope you <laughs> yeah. understand that. Yeah, I do. I, 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 would, I would hope not. Yes, but uh, it, it, it's great what you're doing, and really, we wish you the best of luck, and we really would like to. I, I offer the support of NorthJerseySports.com in whatever way we can help. Thank you very much, Corey. I really appreciate all the support you've given to this and to our school and to me throughout the uh, my time there, and thanks for your friendship, and I hope you guys have an amazing year. Right back at you, Danny, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, Corey. Thanks. Follow the leader.